about being a First Nations business owner on the Sunshine Coast is sharing my knowledge and my culture with the community and making, um, making a brighter way for kids to learn about our country and our history. The ability to be able to connect with lots of traditional owners from country here, the many different families that make up Kabi Kabi, Gubby Gubby country. Also the physical location, it's just such a beautiful country to connect with, lots of different areas and yeah, we really just immerse and ground here and quite easily, so yeah. working with some local producers. We already do a little bit, but we're coming into, into the end of this year, early next year, I'm really going to start to play with some, um, some new recipes to do with um, some local native ingredients coming from one of our, our local native suppliers. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited to, to show the community what, what sort of local flavours are, are around. Events like this is really great too, to help network. Um, like Nikita said, supporting other local businesses and then vice versa, being supported by those businesses too. So if there's something that we can offer, perhaps they can recommend us, or if there's something that we know that they can offer, we can recommend them. Yeah. Collaborating together gives us um, that little boost that we're not on our own, um, we can walk together, seeing other people do business a little bit differently, um, which I find First Nations business we do a lot, I think um, really helps me in my confidence. Yeah, we've worked with local artist uh, Steve Bordenaro, he's assisted us with uh, the artwork on our shed actually, so it's an amazing mural, it's, it's like the story of our of our business and the, and the way it evolved and, and actually Steve's also helped us with the, the background on, on our Skippy Gin. Some collaborations I've done um, with other local First Nations businesses here uh, have been a beautiful project we put together um, with the support of Sunshine Coast Council and that was called NARA 2022 and that brought three um, particular activities together um, and actually a total of nine um, businesses into one project and we really found that again that confidence and just walking together was something that really empowered us all.